Hello friends, the residents are often confused whether to use the long barrel dynamic hip screw or short barrel dynamic hip screw in trochanteric fractures and in neck femur fractures. So in this presentation, I will be talking about the short barrel and long barrel dynamic hip screw and try to answer all the queries that are pertaining to these two specific designs. So let's start. So what we already know, we know that for a leg screw with size 85 millimeter or more than that, we use the long barrel. While for screws which are less than 85 millimeter, we use the short barrel. However, the reason is not frequently discussed. So we'll be seeing why this happens and is it the only criteria for deciding the size of barrel. So first of all, you need to be aware about the dimension of the leg screw which we use for DHS fixation. So the first part, the threaded part is 22 millimeter in length while 25 millimeter is the distance which we anticipate is required for the collapse as well as intraoperative compression and the remaining part is available for sliding inside the barrel so the screw length will be equal to 22 millimeter that is this part 25 millimeter that is recommended length for compression or collapse and the remaining part that is the space for barrel when we are using a long barrel the size of the barrel is 38 millimeter so if we add the 38 millimeter area in this part so the sum will come out to be 85 millimeter therefore for getting a minimum of 25 millimeter compression we want the leg screw to have additional 38 millimeter space for the barrel therefore we use the long barrel whenever the screw size is equal to 85 millimeter or more than that now suppose the length of the screw which we measure after putting the guide wire comes out to be 65 millimeter now we have 22 millimeter threaded area 25 millimeter space is required for compression so the length remaining for the barrel will be 65 minus 22 that is this part and 25 this part it will come out to be 18 millimeter now if we slide the barrel completely if we use the long barrel the 38 millimeter of the barrel will be occupied in this part and it will consume the space which was available for the collapse or compression now if we subtract this 38 millimeter barrel size with the amount of screw length available that is available here that is 18 millimeter the difference will come out to be 20 millimeter so when we slide the long barrel over this part the 20 millimeter additional space will be used up from this area so finally we'll have only 5 millimeter left for compression or collapse so we don't want this thing to happen therefore whenever the space for sliding inside the barrel is limited we use the short barrel the length of the short barrel is 25 millimeter compared to the 38 millimeter size of the long barrel plate so in this example you see 22 millimeter part is threaded and this is the long barrel dynamic hip screw in which there is 38 millimeter distance of the barrel now if we have passed a 65 millimeter screw inside this barrel and the screw is coming out till here the amount available for collapse or compression is very low see this area is very limited the threads will ultimately end up somewhere here with the collapse and it, the threads will not go inside the barrel therefore further compression at the fracture site will not happen and it may result in non-union and persistent instability at the fracture site so we don't want this thing to happen therefore in cases with short screws when the length for compression which is available here is very low we use the short barrel dynamic hip screw plate and this 25 millimeter compression is the recommended length for compression however the surgeon may accept slight variations in this distance like if it's coming out to be 20 millimeter then also if the bone stock is good we can accept the 20 millimeter distance at the expense of using a long barrel the long barrel actually provides more stability so whenever possible use the long barrel but if the distance available for collapse and compression is very low, then definitely you have to go for the short barrel. So the only indications for short barrel dynamic hip screw is when the required compression and collapse distance available on screw is shorter when using the 38 millimeter barrel. That is, it is coming out to be less than 25 millimeter. And also in case of short bones, when overall screw length is definitely going to be short, then also we can use the short barrel dynamic hip screw. Another concern among the residents is whether to cross the fracture with this barrel part or not. Because even if the screw length is coming out to be more than 85 millimeter, but the barrel is crossing the fracture, the residents avoid using the long barrel because they think that this this part will compromise the fracture compression but it is not so the stability is of paramount importance in proximal femur fractures so whenever possible use the long barrel 
use the short barrel only when there is limited space for compression and collapse at the flexure site because of the screw length but if good amount of length is available at this area then definitely go for long barrel irrespective of the barrel crossing the flexure site or not if you see the cross section of the barrel it is cylindrical and hollow so the cancellous bone is going to slide over this part also if required it is not going to block the cancellous bone from sliding over this hollow part so definitely go for a long barrel when the stability is important so if you see the short barrel the picture appears like this if you see the long barrel the picture appears like this so the amount of screw inside the short barrel is limited while in case of long barrel it is more it is 25 millimeter it is 38 millimeter so if you see the lever arm of the screw that is outside the barrel it is longer in case of short barrel while in case of long barrel the lever arm of the screw that is outside the barrel is shorter so this toggling can occur when the barrel is short but in case of long barrel the toggling will be prevented by the length of the barrel see the barrel is covering a good part of the screw so the space available for toggling will be limited so in case of unstable fractures definitely go for a long barrel go for short barrel only when you have very limited space of compression at this area by this diagram we are showing that the lever arm here is longer so the less amount of force is required to destabilize the implant when the barrel is short and the impact of the force will be higher when using the short barrel if there is slight angulation because of this force the sliding which has to occur in this direction may get compromised because of the friction that will generate at this junction while in case of a longer barrel the impact of force here is lower the sliding can happen because of the good containment of leg screw inside the barrel you see the chances of angulation at the junction are low because the barrel has contained most part of the screw therefore the sliding is going to happen more easily compared to the short barrel so the take home points from this small presentation is to prefer long barrel dynamic hip screw whenever feasible only thing you need to keep in your mind is to see the length of the screw that is available for compression if it is 25 millimeter or more then it is very good if it is around 20 millimeter then also you can accept in most of the situations when the bone stock is good and short barrel has to be used whenever this length is very limited and you anticipate that the screw threads will touch the barrel in the follow-up in that scenario you have to use the short barrel dynamic screw and for short stature patients with short bones we can use the short barrel dynamic clip screw and barrel crossing the fracture should not be an issue always the stability has to be priority and long barrel has to be used whenever possible if you have any queries you can just put those in comments thank you